Alright guys, uh, today I've got a uh, fun video for you today. This is going to be kind of like everything for the Droid Razor HD um, or HD Max. Um, so I'm just going to go over this. What it is, is I'm going to show you guys a utility made by a developer called uh, Matt Groff, who's actually compiled everything into this utility um, to be able to restore your phone, flash dock recovery, root the phone, unlock the bootloader, and install either Clockwork Mod, Twerp, or OU DHS Recovery, which is Shabby Penguin Recovery, um, based on Clockwork Mod Recovery. So I'm just going to go over some quick stuff on your device, what you're going to want to be running to do this. This is a custom ROM I'm running right here, but you just want to be on, um, technically you'd want to be on 4.1.2. This is like, say, it's custom ROM here. But um, it should work if you're on a custom ROM, so you mess something up, you can always restore it. Uh, this device I have right here does have an unlock bootloader already, um, but if you don't, this will still work. You can also update to Jelly Bean if you're not on it yet with this utility. Um, so I just want to show you guys, that's what I got right here. This is, you know, fully modded out and everything. But uh, I'm going to take this right here, which we have um, running, and I'm going to restore it back to stock and do all of that stuff with this utility. So let's go over to my computer and let's check that out. All right guys, um, this is what we're working with right here. Uh, what you guys are gonna download is actually download this right here this file right here this is the droid razor hd utility 1.21 and this is a zip file that's what you're going to be getting i'm going to link it in the video description um, and then you're going to extract it and i have mine extracted right up here and you're going to see all of these files or all these in that folder um, so first thing you guys are going to want to do is right here it says drivers for windows only um, this also works on Linux and Mac. You use this file, but for Windows, you want to click on this. If you have a 32-bit window, you want this or 32-bit version of Windows. You want that file. 64-bit, you want this file. Um, so you just click on it and run, and then run this, and it would install all your drivers for you. Okay, so that's the first thing you want to do is make sure all your drivers are installed by running that. So this right here is a program that um, you can use if you want. It's called RSD Lite. It allows you to flash uh, the firmware to this device. I'm not going to go over that. It's, it's, it's in here, but you don't really need to use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the utility and click on this Windows Utility. This is what you use to do this. So we're going to click on it. And it talks about um, the utility, um, who it's created by, and some thanks for some of the stuff that Matt all compiled. Some of this work was done by uh, Dan Rosenberg, actually a bunch of it, the root and the unlock bootloader. But Matt just compiled everything into one utility for us, made it really easy. So right here just says press any key to open utility. And here are your options. Um, so what we're going to actually do is first is go right here where it says flash stock system kernel and radio wipe data um, from AP fastboot. So that's what we're going to do first, and we're going to kind of go through a bunch of these steps as we go. So let's go ahead and do step number one right here, and uh, I'll show you what that does. So you're going to go ahead and just type in one, and then hit enter. And then it gives you some stuff you need to go through right here. So simple razor restore. Before continuing, sure your device is in AP fastboot mode, connected, very careful to wipe user data. This includes, and it tells you everything, um, contacts, apps, etc. I am not responsible if this wipes your internal SD card, um, and you should back up anything worth it to be your external and your computer before you choose to continue. Don't do this if um, your battery is too low. You've been warned it will possibly brick your device. So right here, we're going to go ahead and set up the phone. So switch over to the phone real quick, set it up, put it in AP fastboot mode, and then um, we're going to press this and restore this device. Okay, guys, to get your uh, device into AP fastboot mode, you're going to power it off. Power off device. Okay. 
you got that. And then what you're going to do is on the side you got your volume up and down and your power. And what we're going to do, once this power is off, is we're going to hold both your volume button up and down at the same time. Hold both of them and then hold power. And you're going to see that it goes into bootloader mode right here. And then you're going to scroll down one, two with your volume down. And then volume up once to select AP Fast Boot. And now you're in AP Fast Boot. So from here, you're going to go ahead and connect your USB cable to the device, like so. And it says connected right there. And then set this down, and your drivers will be installing on your computer as this goes. So let's uh, check that out. All right, so we just put our phone into fast boot mode. Um, so basically, at this point, um, if you hopefully you backed up anything that could be an issue here. Um, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and press any key to continue. So I'm going to use the space bar, and it's going to start the flash process. So let's go through it. So first step here is sending system and it's writing system and it's going to keep sending and writing and sending and writing until it's all done. You want to make sure you guys see OKs right here um, and things like that as it goes through this. Possibly this is going to take you around 10 minutes to run. Also obviously make sure you have great great battery life when doing this. So I'm going to just kind of pause and then we'll come back to it as it gets down here and starts wrapping things up. So here we go we just finished system sending boot right now writing boot so like I guess everything as you go should just keep saying okay 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 so now we're erasing user data racing cache finish sending modems writing modems which modems are your radios um, so obviously the biggest thing here is sending that system that's what took the longest time alright so erasing modems blah 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 and that is it. Let's uh, check out the phone here. So the phone is rebooting right here. Um, after that utility finished up, you can see we're back to stock boot animation, which I wasn't on before. Um, I had a custom boot animation on this thing. So you can see that. Now, first boot up after doing this and wiping everything could take a little while um, just because you wiped your cache and everything it's got to re rewrite everything it could take up to 10 minutes um, but actually at this point the utility is done running so we can actually unplug the USB cable if we want which I'm gonna do for right now and um, just let this thing boot up and we'll check it out really quick make sure we're back to stock and I will continue on with the utility the device has been restored we're just gonna kinda skip through all this stuff next and Okay, so we are fully restored right now to Droid Razor HD. Everything is restored. I'm going to show you guys just really quick in the settings um, what we got going on here about phone. And you can see now we are restored to uh, 4.1.2. And now we're going to go ahead and proceed with the root video. Um, so if you need to restore your, your phone, use this part of the utility. If you want to root your phone, you don't have to do the restore if you're already running this exact version here, this um, 9.16.6.xt926 Verizon EN US, Droid Razor HD or HG Max, whatever. Um, if you're running this already, you don't have to do the restore. That's just an option if you guys want to restore and you go fully back to stock if you're running a custom ROM, whatever. Um, so, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and in developer options, and if it's not turned on, this is the way you turn it on, is you go to build number and you just keep tapping on it until developer options turns on, okay? So developer options, you'd click on that, you turn on this right up here, say yes, and then you turn on this, US, whoop, mock locations, USB debugging. You wanna turn that on, click okay, and then go ahead and plug in your cable again, and, um, and then let your drivers install on your computer. They'll install automatically once you plug in. So we're going to leave this just like this. Um, take the screen off. And let's go ahead and just leave it just like this. And we'll pull up the utility again and see if um, we can go ahead and root this device. Okay, guys. Here we are um, back on the utility again. So this is where it left us on the last screen after a restore. So let's go ahead and just hit any key right now. All right. Um, right now 
Now we can flash stock recovery again if we want to. If you're already to finish your restore, to fully restore this thing, besides an online bootloader, if you already have that, we can't change, you can't restore that. But we can restore um, stock recovery if we need to at this point. I'm going to skip this step because if you're already running this Android version, then you don't really need it. Um, but if you want, you can do that in AP Fastboot just like you did the first uh, wipe. You just put in AP Fastboot and then click this option and it'll restore your stack recovery. It won't take very long to do. So we're just going to go ahead and skip to um, step three right here, which is Moto Chopper Root Exploit. And this is in normal boot. So we're, we're in normal boot mode. So we're going to click three, hit enter. And then we're just going to read through this really quick. So it tells you what work, what devices it works on. You can see there's a bunch of them: Razer M, Razer Max HD, HD, Atrix HD, blah blah blah. Um, it says make sure you're in USB debugging mode is enabled. Drivers are installed. That's already done. We've already shown you guys that. Um, then warning: this could void your warranty. Blah blah blah. No big deal. So press enter to root your phone. So we're gonna go ahead and press enter. And we're waiting on device to connect. So let's just wait on that. Device found. And pushing an exploit. Everything looks good. Sending, rooting phone. This may take a few minutes. Uh, it really doesn't. Cleaning up, successful, complete. Uh, press enter to reboot and exit. So push enter. Hit enter to return. So hit enter again. And we're back to our main menu. So let's go look at the phone, make sure we have root access. So the phone did go ahead and reboot from that root process. Um, so the utility's done. I'm not really worried about that. We're going to go ahead and unplug our cable at this point. And then we're going to unlock it. And we're going to see if we have root access. So we're going to come in here and scroll over. And there it is. Super user right there. That's their application that gave us root access. And so current your current super user app policies. There are currently no super user app policies. Okay, that just means that you don't have any apps asking for root permission. But there it is. That is um, root on your Razer HD. So let's go to the last two steps here, which is um, unlocking your bootloader. You have to have root access to do that. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to install a custom recovery uh, using the utility also. So let's jump back over there. Um, let's leave our device plugged in because it needs the ADB and all those USB debugging stuff, which we'll make sure it's turned on really quick. So developer options, yep, everything's still good. So let's plug it back in and we'll go over to the computer again. This is really, really simple to do. Uh, let me just read through this again. Um, this is by Dan Rosenberg. So supports Motorola, Razer HD, Razer M, Razer Max HD, and Atrix HD. Um, before continuing, ensure that your device has been rooted, which we did already. Um, you have a working SU installation, which is super user. That USB debugging is enabled, also already done that. That you have the latest Motorola drivers installed. Again, watch the video from my video description. And then it says, warning, this is permanently voiding your warranty on your device. This is non-reversible. I'm not responsible for any damage to your device as a result of this tool. Press enter to root your phone. It's actually not root, it's actually unlocking your bootloader. But we're going to go ahead and press any key to continue and see what happens. So here we go, guys. All right, it's waiting for a device. The device is done. D-Man starting successfully. It's running some unlocked stuff. All right, so I uh, hope you guys can see that right there. It says device is unlocked, status code three. There you go, that's it. The device is now unlocked. Let's go ahead and go back to the utility. Let's leave this thing plugged in and we'll set it down. It's pretty much that simple to unlock this device. Let's check this utility back. Okay, so uh, here we are on the utility again. So once again, any key to continue here? Should function, all right. So at this point, you guys can hit option four and hit four and then hit enter. I'm not actually gonna do it. My lab bootloader is already unlocked. I will um, kind of edit in the video on doing this though so you guys can see it. 
but I'm just not going to use it through the utility. I don't know what's going to happen if I try to unlock my bootloader when it's my bootloader is already unlocked, so we're not going to mess with that one. So we're going to skip past it. Once your bootloader is unlocked, you do have to do root first, then bootloader has to be unlocked. Um, and then once you have those two done, you guys can do one of these three options. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flash this one, O-U-D-H-S, um, recovery. And just because this one is uh, port by Matt, and I think it's pretty fun to play with. So I'm going to flash this one, but pick whatever you guys like your best. So go ahead, and I'm going to hit option six. Hit enter. And then just some information, use speed debugging is on, blah, blah, blah. Your device must be rooted for this to work. Also must have an unlocked bootloader for you to flash recovery. Um, so press any key to continue. Go ahead and push enter. And looking for a device with debugging enabled. Device found. And it's sending a recovery to it. Um, so recovery flash complete, rebooting your rebooting to recovery. Hit enter to return. So I'm gonna hit enter. And we're gonna look at our device. So at this point, let's go ahead and close down this program right here. Go ahead and close it, and let's go check out the device. Okay, so I booted into recovery after flashing recovery. This is the uh, OUDHS recovery. Let's go ahead and unplug our cable at this point. And uh, this is based on Clockwork Mile Recovery, but it's got touch gestures in, in the setup. So you just scroll like this, and then if you want to select something, you swipe this direction. If you want to um, go back, you swipe that direction. It tells you the directions right down here. Like I said, this is ported by Matt, so really cool. I like this stuff a lot. Um, so basically, um, the other thing I'm going to show you in here that's kind of fun, and one reason I kind of like this thing, is that there's an Easter egg when you scroll a couple times through all your options. It goes to this rainbow mode, which is just fun to play with. Um, so anyway, there you go. That is uh, pretty much everything on this uh, setup. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually restore a backup that I made so we can go back to where I was at. So I'm going to go to restore from external card. And that is my backup. And I'm going to go ahead and restore that. So yes, restore. And there you go. So I'm going to let this restore. But that pretty much wraps up the utility, guys. That is the Droid Razor HD utility. That is all the steps. It's Sorry it's a long video. But it just gives you everything, man. You are, like, set with this utility. It does everything for you for this device. Very, very nice work, man. I like it a lot. Um, so that's it, guys. I hope you guys like it. hope it was helpful for you. Please uh, check me out right up here at RootJunkie.com. Lots of great, great information on there all the time, updating constantly. Follow me at Facebook or Twitter right over there. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.